Hello viewers, in this video we will see how we can configure Proteus for programming FVR microcontroller. We all know we can use Proteus to simulate FVR microcontroller projects, um, actually all kind of microcontroller projects, but we can actually use Proteus for uh, writing and compiling FVR microcontroller codes also. So, uh, in order to do that, first we need to download the WinAVR program. So let's go to Google and search WinAVR. Okay, it will download it soon. When the download is complete, install this software. Okay. I agree. Uh, keep one thing in mind, just don't change the destination folder. Keep the destination folder as it is and proceed next and install it. I have it already installed so I am skipping this step. Uh, go to source code and then system. Here you will find compiler configurations. Now click check all option. This will check all the available compilers in your system. As we can see, we have installed WinAV here and it says it is installed and also so shows the directory where the program is located. We'll click OK. Now let's close this window and let's open a new project. Let's name it new project 3. Next. Check create a schematic from the selected template. Then next, and here choose create firmware project. Now we have to choose the processor. It is AVR based. For this video, I am choosing 80 mega 8. And this is the important part compiler. Here you have to choose the WinAVR, the compiler we just installed. Now you can see two window. First one is where you will build the circuit, and the second one, the second window, where um, the source code is located. You can write your codes here and build it. Okay, so let's build a simple circuit to test the code. Let's go to the component library and search LED. Let's connect it to PD0. Now we need a register. Let's change the register value to 220 ohm. Okay, the circuit is complete. Now let's go to the source code window. Here, inside the main function, first we need to define the port pin as output. We are using PD0. Then we will set it to 0 initially. One left shift is zero. So uh, the LED is turned off initially. Now inside the while loop, 
we will blink the LED with a delay of 500 millisecond. Or D or equals one left shift zero. Then we'll use the delay function, and the delay is 500 milliseconds. Now we will turn the LED off. Now keep one thing in mind that the delay ms library, this library uh, resides in util slash delay dot h library. So we have to include another library, include util slash delay dot h. Now if we build the code, here is the build option. Okay, it says the error. Okay, we have missed the D here. Okay, let's now build it again. As you can see, it says the compilation is successful. So if we now run the circuit, you can see here we don't have to choose the program file manually. If we choose the firmware project, the program file is automatically selected. We just have to run the program. Okay, the LED is blinking with a delay of 500 milliseconds. Uh, actually, you don't have to build the code manually from here. You can directly build, uh, directly compile the code and then run the circuit from here by just running the simulation. It will do the work for you. So there is one additional setting that I want you to show is that uh, how to change the microcontroller frequency. Let's say you want to operate it at 8 megahertz so what would you do as you can see here the frequency is already chosen as 1 megahertz so how you can do that from project go to the project settings then here you can see the cpu frequency so let's set it to 8 megahertz and click ok and from here we also change the frequency as you can see the frequency here chosen is 1 megahertz by default you have to set it to 8 megahertz eight megahertz internal eight megahertz internal clock then okay now the frequency is set and if we go to the Sorry, I have missed something. Okay, let's build it. Okay, try to build it one once. Now the frequency is set as eight megahertz, and now we can run the circuit. Okay. As you can see, the delays. As you can see, the delays, five hundred milliseconds, and it is working just fine. You can also set external um, external crystals here if you need it for your project. For that, just go here and change it to external clock high frequency option, and then define the option here, 16 megahertz, and it will be all right. Then you have to 
make the circuit for the 16 megahertz so i am keeping it 8 megahertz for now and clearing this we have reached the end of the tutorial um, i hope guys this video helped you thank you for watching